Welcome to Learn Instrumentation Engineering YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about electrical motor control loop diagram. So, in this uh, video, we would be discussing on how an electrical signal that is getting transferred from motor control center to DCS. So watch this video for you to have a better understanding on this concept. So in this uh, YouTube channel Learn Instrumentation Engineering, we would be uh, discussing on basic concepts and fundamentals of instrumentation and control engineering. We would also brief on the latest technological updates which is happening in and around globally on instrumentation engineering. We would also cover latest news on our industry. So if you are an instrumentation student or a budding instrument engineer or an expertise in the field of instrumentation engineering, do subscribe to our channel and I am pretty sure that I create more value addition to your knowledge. So let's get into this video. So this is basically a, a simple loop that is running from electrical substation to the DCS system cabinet. So we uh, would be taking an example of uh, run feedback. So we do have different control uh, signals for motor control circuit. So that includes a start, stop, run feedback, availability, local remote indication ESD trip and some of the other electrical uh, control signals would be uh, available depending on the customized requirement. So these are the basic control signals that would be loop between the electrical substation motor control center to DCS. So in this uh, video we would take an example of run feedback. So this run feedback would be considered as a digital input from motor control center. So what is basically a motor control center? Uh, let me brief you with a small example. So for example this is an electrical feeder. So basically electrical feeder would be having both electrical and instrument control supply signals and other relay units to run a motor. So in this electrical feeder, we would be having digital outputs and digital inputs. So this would be between DCS and electrical feeder. For example, for digital input from DCS to electrical feeder would be start command stop command and uh, ESD trip that would be coming from ESD panel. So what would be the digital output from electrical field to DCS? So that would be uh, running a uh, run feedback, uh, local remote indication and availability signals. So these signals would be running from electrical field to DCS and all these signals see this is one of the electrical feeder so we would be having a lot of electrical feeders in substations for example we do have uh, around uh, 10 electrical feeders and all these control supply signals would be a uh, loop to a electrical instrument interface panel so what is basically electrical interface panel so that is that would be like this is an mcc motor control center so in this panel uh, feeder 1 control supply signals would be coming feeder 2 control signals would be coming so similarly we will be having uh, for example we will be having 10 number of feeders that would be getting into this motor control circuits and uh, we do have an interfacing uh, TV so all these control supply signals would be terminated into this TV and uh, from here we do have a multi-code cable so that multi-code cable would be getting into the ICS rack room so this is how the signal flow would be 
coming from electrical feeder to ICS rack room. So from electrical feeder, we are taking this uh, run feedback to NCC and from NCC, it gets into the ICS rack room. So this is the motor control circuit. So now you would be having an idea what is MCC. So this run feedback is considered as a digital input to DCS. We have already discussed on a digital input uh, in our previous video. I will be pasting the link uh, in the description. You can check it out so that it will be easier for you to understand this particular loop drawigram. So from electrical substation that is from the MCC panel, we are taking this run feedback to ICS rack room as I told earlier and this is the marshalling panel and this would be basically a digital marshalling panel. So we do have all the digital inputs that would be getting into this marshalling panel. So this run feedback signals would be looped to the marshalling panel where we do have a interface TB and we do call it as knife edge TB where we would be having fuse rating for example we do have 100 milliamps so depending upon the uh, loop stability of uh, MCC and DCS we would be uh, rating this uh, fuse so that would be a glass fuse and I have taken 100 milliamps as an example so from this uh, TB it would run into an ELCO board so I have already discussed about ELCO board in our previous video you can check it out and in, in this ELCO board we do have this digital input channels in this example I am taking as 5A and 5B so this is basically the fifth channel so this is the fifth channel in the DCS digital input card and this uh, ELCO board would be powered by redundant power supply so already we would have discussed about how this redundant power supply is coming into the elco board uh, in a separate ics panel series you can watch out that so from this uh, elco board this would be running towards the system cabinet dcs system cabinet through a prefab cable so prefab cable is nothing but we do have different elco we do have uh, different channels over here in the same elco board and in our example we have taken as channel 5 similarly we have channel 6 7 8 and so on till 16 or 32 so all these particular channels from 1 to 16 would be getting a single uh, uh, prefab cable to the dc system cabinet and this would get into a digital input card and already we have addressed this as a fifth channel okay so from digital input core it gets into the cpu for indication and other control algorithms so this is basically uh, motor control signals uh, that is running from electrical substation to motor control center and from that it gets into the marshalling panel digital marshalling panel and from digital marshalling panel it gets into the system cabinet where we would be terminating as a final thing so this is basically the loop diagram of uh, electrical control signals and if this video was very useful to you just hit the like button and share to the instrumentation community if you want to watch such instrumentation video do subscribe to our channel learn instrumentation engineering youtube channel thank you